Good morning. Have any of you been on vacation yet? Did you just shake your head? No. You just got back from New York. Have you been on vacation? Sullivan's out of it. Together? I saw pictures. Have y'all been on vacation yet? Not yet. I went to Louisiana for a Louisiana, did you have crawfish? We just oh, that's so fish in there. What's you? You just came back from Blue Cruise. You been on vacation too, though? Not yet. <coughs> and you just came back from New York. You've always been on vacation. No camping trips. Yeah, black pants. And we just got back from Edison. So we just unpacked, but then I repacked. Y'all can see what's in my suitcase. And I want to tell you the reason I packed is. We've been coming to church, and I'm sure y'all Sunday school teachers have told y'all this, and I'm sure you heard it in church, that the reason we're here is to get filled up with God's Word so that we can go about and spread God's Word, so that we can let the people of the world all over the place know that Jesus is coming back for us, and we need to have our hearts right. So since we've got to go out and do that, I figured I'd pack a suitcase, maybe I can go a little bit further. You want to see what I've got packed here? Get the right zipper. This isn't even my big one, but that's what I have. Pillow. Everybody needs a pillow, right? <coughs> For sleeping time now, I didn't take a blanket though, so I hope it's going wherever I'm going. Maybe they're in I've got some tennis shoes because I figured I might have to trip it. You know, I might have to walk to some places and some socks. Bathing suit. Um, Y'all can tell me if we're hot weather. Uh, I got a dress in case I have to go in folks' churches, maybe, go in some other churches, and some blue jeans, a t-shirt, and y'all not believe this, but what's in there? Definitely put on without socks. Snacks. Snacks. And some socks. I do have socks, too. Is that a good start? Is that about what y'all suitcases look like when you go places? Yeah. You don't have suitcases? What do you put them in, babe? That, that works, too. You know what we yeah, do. Yeah. Like, I really didn't take this, so I have to be going right over here to them, too. But you know what? I thought I was packing good until the preacher read the sermon today. I mean, the <laughs> gospel. And he's up here with instructions on packing. Let me read this to y'all. Because I, I was listening and I thought, I don't think I did that right. So in today's gospel, Jesus is, is sending his disciples out to spread the word. Just like I said I'm going to do and that we should do. And these were his instructions. This is from Mark chapter 6. Take nothing for the journey except the staff. I didn't even bring a walking stick. No bread, that means no snacks. No bag, that means no suitcase. No money in your belts. I forgot a belt, but I also didn't bring money. Wear sandals, but not an extra tunic. I got my tennis shoes, maybe that counts. But I didn't bring extra clothes. Whenever you enter a house, stay there until you leave that town, and if any place will not welcome you or listen to you, shake off the dust from your feet when you leave as a testimony against them. So the disciples went out and preached to the people that they should repent. And they drove out many demons and anointed many sick people with oil and healed them. So the disciples apparently listened. They went without a suitcase and all they had was a walking stick and the shoes on their feet and the clothes they were wearing. And they went out about. Now why do you think they were able to do to turn do miracles and drive out demons when they didn't have anything with them? What did they have that you can't pack in a suitcase? So Jesus didn't physically go with them back then, but he was with them. He had taught them his word was with them. We have Jesus in our hearts and the Holy Spirit with us, so we can take that with us. And we won't need a suitcase for him. So even if you're packing a suitcase or a bag or a big rubber bag to go on vacation, know that you can spread the word wherever it is you go, whether it be summer camp or playing baseball in New York or on a camping trip or Sullivan's Island. You can take the word of God with you and, and you can spread it to whoever you see. All right, I'll go home and we will already be in the next Repack this again. Do I have that in the room? All right, three hands. Dear God, make sure that wherever we go, that we're willing to spread your word and be right there with us so that we let people know all over the world who you are. In your name we pray. Amen.